Liz Josephsberg, and this is One Minute to Wellness. Today we are talking about soup, right? Winter's coming for a lot of us, and I love to make homemade soup in the winter, uh, and I'm so glad that I've learned how to make it so easily and so simply, and I just wish someone would have told me how easy it can be. So today I'm gonna make uh, very quickly a cauliflower soup, which is so delicious. I don't even have words for it. Um, I am showing you a bunch of ingredients right here, and you'll notice I did what I call you're either going to spend a little time or you're going to spend a little money. So I think I am a busy mom. I've got two kids. I have a full-time job. I'm on the go all the time. I decided today that I was going to spend a little extra money and get the vegetables that were already cut up. You can save a lot of money by doing the chopping yourself, but you gotta find the time for that. So when I am really in a hurry and I need to make soup in just one minute, I do it this way, okay? So I've got my cauliflower. I'm simply gonna pour it into a large saucepan, and then it's up to me what I wanna do next, okay? I can add any kind of other vegetables or no other vegetables at all. So I usually love to toss in some red onion, a couple of garlic cloves. You don't even have to do anything to them, just drop them in there. I love to add a little carrot and, uh, and even a little celery. And I had some fresh basil in my garden, so I'm throwing that in too. And you'll notice I really haven't done anything except put stuff into a saucepan. Uh, I like to drizzle just a tiny bit of olive oil in there, and then I add organic chicken stock to the soup. And then I add my seasonings, right? So I'm a huge fan of ground pepper and salt, but for my cauliflower soup, the real key ingredient for me is a nice sprinkle of cumin. Gives it sort of a little bit of an Indian flair to your cauliflower soup, and it just blends so nicely. I add a little powdered garlic as well, right? So that's really it. I put my vegetables in the pot, I add a little bit of chicken broth, some seasoning, and then I'm simply gonna boil it, okay? So I'm gonna boil this for maybe about 30 minutes. When I'm done, I'll show it to you in just a minute. All right, so I said I'd be back in a minute, but it's been a little bit more like 25 minutes, right? So you guys saw what I did, right? I threw some veggies in a pot, I covered it with chicken broth, I added a few seasonings, I boiled it for about 25, 30 minutes, and a high good boil, which totally softened all of my veggies now. So see that all the, the spices got up in there and the, the this all got soft. Now I'm gonna play with this big bad boy, okay? This is my immersion blender. I live for this thing when I'm making soups. Um, all I'm gonna do now is literally blend this soup up. So those big garlic cubes and the basil leaves and all of it that have been cooking in here will now just get blended together into a delicious soup, okay? blender in the soup. So basically, if you take a look now, that was as easy as it gets. You can blend it down as much as you like or as little as you like so that it's chunky or completely smooth. This stuff is so delicious and when I need a hearty meal, I'll have this and I'll throw in a little ground beef or even a little shredded chicken just to make it a little heartier and heavier. It's really saves for several days, so don't feel scared to put it in the fridge and leave it there for three or four days. It's really good. Um, I hope you will play around with your veggies and your seasonings. Every soup can be different and every soup can be amazing, so enjoy.